Hey everybody, this is Rick from Anytime T-Shirts uh, here in Lesby, Maryland. Uh, I just want to do a quick video today to uh, show you guys the new uh, exposure unit I made. Um, been looking at a lot of them on YouTube, you know, DIY exposure units and stuff, and um, um, didn't look too difficult. So I um, thought I'd give it a shot. And uh, uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, what I did was, uh, this is an old workbench that I had that I used for this here, my uh, heat press that I... Uh, um, that pretty much is the only thing I did when I first started, um, um, but uh, I just keep it around now. Every now and then I have a have a use for it. But um, um, you can see here on the workbench, all I did was cut a hole in the top, drop a piece of glass down in there. I mounted um, two 500 watt halogen bulbs underneath. Um, they will be replaced eventually with a uh, metal halide bulb. Uh, I just didn't want to mess with that yet. My electrical knowledge is uh, very limited, and I didn't want to. I wasn't sure about the whole ballast thing and all that. So, um, but uh, we'll get that done soon. Um, I'm also thinking that uh, you know I should be able to. Uh, I don't see how it'd be too difficult. Build a little frame and get some uh, neoprene and uh, mount that frame right here across, you know, the top of this, and um, I'll be able to bring a lid down and. Uh, you know, put a little vacuum pump on the side and um, um, really do this thing up. But um, for right now, it's fine the way it is. Um, down there's the uh, the little lid, you know, to put inside your screen. Put some weight on there. And, um, I mean, you put enough weight on there, probably damn near just as good as a uh, um, vacuum top anyways. But um, over here we have a little switch. Maybe you see my little... Uh, very poor job of electrical work. <laughs> um, I need to get an electrical box and uh, cover those wires up. You know, it's probably not too safe leaving them out there like that. But the switch is very simple, very basic. Uh, it's got three buttons on it. One that just turns on and off, and then um, you know, manually to leave it on or turn it off. And then up here you got these two. Click to the right to give you 15 minutes. You can count down. You know, back it down to whatever you want. Push this left button. All right, there we got one minute think throw my glasses on but um so uh a lot easier than uh what i used to do with um setting a timer or stopwatch or whatever on my phone and what have you and always having to uh make sure i was back to the exposure unit on time um before uh, you know to, to turn it off um much nicer now set the timer walk away and um you know when it's done it's done so um all in all, it worked out pretty well. Very simple, very easy. I mean, how hard was this? Cut a hole, put a little frame underneath there, drop a piece of glass, mount two lights, wire in a switch, and done. You know, very, very simple. Um, it sure beats this. This is my old exposure unit. I'm sure you're all familiar with these. Um, worked great. No problems, you know. Um, just, uh, you know, the fine detail, getting that pressure on there wasn't um, quite as good as what I should be able to do with this one. Um, so, you know, stepping it up a little bit and, um, uh, if you, uh, are interested in making your own, um, this was extremely inexpensive. Um, well, obviously I had the table, so that didn't cost anything. Uh, the piece of glass I paid, I think $22 for the two halogen lights together. I paid about 20 bucks. Um, the cord that I wired in that goes up here, you know, to an outlet, um, didn't realize how much that was, so I got to register, but uh, I think I paid like 25, 30 bucks for that cord. Uh, you ain't got to spend that much on a cord. That was kind of a blunder on my part, but oh well. Um, so, you know, less than 100 bucks. Here we have a great exposure unit, and um, it should work absolutely fine, and we should be good to go. Um, like I said, we're going to upgrade a little bit later on. We'll try it with the metal highlight and um, maybe the vacuum top. Ah, it's not maybe. I'm going to put a vacuum top on it. <laughs> it's just a matter of when. So, uh, if you need an exposure unit, don't go spend all that money on those expensive ones from all those big companies. Um, you know, unless, of course, you got it and you like throwing it away, that's fine, too. But, um, you know, a day or two in your garage, slap this together, and um, you're good to go. Got yourself a great exposure unit. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Rick from Anytime T-Shirts in Lesby, Maryland. Have a great day.